Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and today I'm going to show you how to download one of the best and one of the most popular map packs for Eurotrack Simulator 2 promos. So the first thing you need to do is obviously go to promos website. I'm going to link that uh, down in the description. And once you open up the website, you want to create the account. Now the account is free, so it just takes literally a couple of minutes to set it up and you have to log into your account. Once you're logged into your account, which you can tell by the top right hand corner with your name on it, you go to the promos website again, and then you hit the download button. Once you hit the download button, you need to choose your language, which you're using in the game. So I'm going to leave it default as English and hit OK. Now you need to generate the definition file. So you click that little link here and that's what you should see. Now, if you don't know what those options are changing, it's best to leave them default. I'm only going to mention two options that uh, keep an eye on. Uh, first one is the roof map. If you have a roof map map pack, you need to click that box. Otherwise, the zoom on your map will be kind of funky. And the other option is if you own the special transport DLC from Steam, you need to click that too, because that will give you special transport jobs from those new cities that will be added in this map pack. And once you hit all that, once you check all the boxes that you want, you click generate. And as you can see, it automatically downloads the definition file into your default download folder. Now, once that's downloaded, you go back to download again, you hit OK again, but this time you hit uh, go to step two. And from here you have two options. You can either download one full file with the full speed for one euro, which you can pay with your PayPal account, or you can download it for free. Now, if you download it for free, you need to download all them eight files plus the testing tool as well. However, the speed will be much slower than on the paid version and you are only allowed to download two files at the same time. So if you want to download the third one, you need to wait until the first one finishes. So once you downloaded all the files, you go to that folder and that's what you should see. So first thing you want to do is to unpack the promo test file. So you double click it and extract it. Once that's done, in case it extracted like it did in my case that it in, into separate folder, you actually want to move that to the main folder. Otherwise, this little program wouldn't, uh, won't be able to test all the files. Once you do that, you start the test file program. And as you can see, it doesn't take that long and uh, testing is completed and every file is OK. So once you see that message, you can unpack all the other files. To do that, you hit the first one, the one that doesn't have the longer extension and just hit extract and wait for it to finish. Now, once the extraction is over, you want to move your definition file, which is easy to recognize because it has def in it, and you want to move it to that new created folder. It's just going to make it easier for you to install all the mods. So that's it, and it should be here. Yeah, there it is. Now, all you have to do is just copy all them files and go to your default location, which is normally Documents, Eurotrack Simulator 2, and Folder Mod. And you want to paste all them files into that folder. So that's it. Now let me show you uh, what you have to do in the game. Now once you're in the game, you want to click Mod Manager, and you want to add all the mods, but it's very important that the order in which you're adding all them files. So as you can see here, I have a couple of mods here, but basically the one at the bottom you add first. So as you can see, the assets package is first. So you hit that here and you just double click it and it will add it. The next thing you add the media package. Again, double click it, it will add it. Then models package three, models package two, models package one, promos map package, and lastly promos definition package from the top to the bottom that's the order that the game will prioritize the mods so i suggest even if you're using any other mods as you can see here i'm using a couple of other mods they're all at the bottom of the list and the promos should be first 
to avoid any kind of conflicts or stuff like that. So once you added it all in the correct uh, order, you hit confirm changes. I don't have it here because I didn't change anything. And you start your profile. Now that loading screen can take pretty long time whenever you first time install the mod, but it's only the first time. So it can take anything between two or even 10 minutes. However, once it's done, every next time whenever you start the game the loading screen won't be as long it will be just as it is normally and once the game starts the easiest way to check if the mod is working is obviously go to your world map and as you can see here i have all the new locations that promos is adding like cyprus slovenia parts of spain ireland iceland north norway and all that kind of good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.